वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस ए सिंक्रोनस डेकेड काउंटर एंड वट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इज अप काउंटर वी हैव डिस्कस डाउन काउंटर एंड वी हैव ऑल्सो डिस्कस अप डाउन काउंटर फर्दर मोर वी हैव ऑल्सो डिस्कस इट फॉर टू बिट्स एज वेल एज फॉर थ्री बिट्स now there is one more uh, basically what we call as application of asynchronous counter and uh, that is basically call as modulus counters or mod counter now what is this property if we compare what we have studied uh, from these topics that is up counter and down counter what we observed was the sequence that was getting produced at the output was of the order of uh, you can say it was of the sequence either in an increasing order or uh, you can say it was in the decreasing order uh, and uh, if we consider suppose uh, you are having n number of bits so you need basically n flip flops and for n flip flops there would be 2 to the power n number of states so when you say there are 2 to the power n states it means you are referring to maximum possible state and uh, as we all know the num maximum number possible would be 2 to the power n minus 1 so but i am uh, interested in basically this point the maximum states you can have is 2 to the power 9 if your flip flop output is producing all the state then such a counter is basically called as a counter with all the sequences getting produced at the output but there is one more category of counter in asynchronous only in which basically we can have outputs which are lesser than the maximum possible combinations that are possible and uh, such type of counter is basically called as truncated counter means uh, there are some states which we have left out for example if i ask you to uh, design a counter which will count from 0 to 40 then how many bits do we require for it or you can say how many flip flops are required for it so the answer would be the number of flip flops required is equal to number of bits then we will see how many bits are sufficient so that this number 40 is basically displayed so we know that to have a 40 on the display the number of bits required are 6 so you need minimum of 6 bits but then we know the maximum combinations that would have been possible with 6 uh, bits is equal to 2 to the power 6 that is 64 so that is uh, basically what we call as a truncated counter the maximum states possible 64 and the counter that we are designing we are designing it for the numbers that will be displayed from 0 to 40 only so there are 20 states which we are not showing so we are 20 states less so such type of counter is basically called as a truncated counter now in this truncated counter there is one special counter that we are going to design in this particular lecture and that is a decade counter so decade means there would be a counting from 0 to 9 only and from 9 we will go back to 0 now to design this decade counter uh, as you can see the number of states are 0 to 9 so total number of states are 10 and the number of bits that are required is 4 then because if you take only 3 bits then the number of possible combinations are only 8 but we are having here 10 states those 10 states are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 so if we count them all it is total number of 10 states so 3 bits are not sufficient so, but if you take 4 bits then we can have maximum 16 combinations 
and then we can truncate it, we can uh, uh, make it lesser. Now, let us see what kind of circuit is basically uh, desired for this particular design. Now, if you look at this diagram, there are JK flip flops and they are four of them and already if you will see my video, if you if you will check out my previous videos, if you will see it is three stages, it is nothing but a uh, asynchronous three bit up counter. So, in the same way if you will look at all of this, it is basically the number of flip flops, number of flip flops that are being used is four here. So, the number of states are 2 to the power n that is 2 to the power 4 which is 16. So, in general if I am basically using this particular circuit, this particular diagram, the states that would be displayed is from all zeros to all ones that is 0 to 15. Now, if you want to basically convert this particular diagram into what we call as a decade counter it means you have to reduce the number of states and if and if you want to reduce the number of states then there is some additional logic that uh, we need to uh, add in this particular circuit so let us see what is the additional logic required if i look at the diagram only uh, there is one more button that we are using here and that button is a clear you can see here clear and you can see also there is a bubble on this clear button it means it is active low. What I am going to do is I am uh, going to use one additional NAND gate in the circuit and that output of the NAND gate is connected to all the resets. Now, you can see all the resets are connected. So, this output here is given to all resets. Now, the question is what are the inputs to this particular gate? For understanding what are the inputs, let us see the counting sequence. So, this is Q 3, Q 2, Q 1, Q 0 and again I may recall you wherever you are providing a clock pulse that acts as an LSB. So, out of Q 3, Q 2, Q 1 and Q naught my LSB is Q naught. So, I may write it like this Q 3, Q 2, Q 1, Q naught and the counting sequence it is an up counter because you can see from the diagram the output Q is acting as a clock for the next stage and same is applicable for the other flip flops as well. And we are assuming that the output would be taken from Q only the LEDs I will be connected over here to get the output and the sequence now we are basically uh, expecting is being an up counter is like this 1 followed by 2 then 3 then 4 then 5 then 6 7 this is 8 this is 9 and after 9 there is 10. Now, what I want this 10 and the other conditions like 11, 12 and so on these conditions must not come. So, what I am going to do is I am going to design a logic where once my counting sequence would move from 9 to 10 that time I need to reset my flip flops and whenever you do reset it means all the values all the values would be 0 and if the values are 0 it means while you will give a next clock pulse the value will again be 1 then 2 and so on. It means we will be moving from 9 back towards 0 and the sequence would continue. So, all these states starting from 10 to 15 they would not be visible at the output. Now, for that particular thing what we are going to do is if we will uh, again check this Q 3, Q 2, Q 1, Q naught the value at the 1 0 1 0 that is 10 where we want to do a reset 
you can see here the one very important point the value of q1 and q3 is 1 and 1. Now, if we will look at all these conditions from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If you will check all these conditions, there is no other condition where both q3 and q1 are 1. I am repeating this point there is no other value if you will check q1 and q3 for all these values. So, there is no case when both the values are 1 simultaneously except when we are moving towards this 10. Now, you can see here your q1 and q3 both are 1. So, what I am going to do is the q3 value the q3 value and my q1 value I would be giving these two as an input to end gate. So, once I will uh, reach at the sequence of 10 1 0 1 0. So, this value is 1 then this value is also 1 because it is 1 0 sorry uh, we and this is my LSB it is 1 0 1 0. So, it is 1 0 1 0. So, you can see that q 3 value is 1 and q 1 value is 1. So, the moment they are both 1 1 that time this output would be 0 and since my resets are active low it means all the uh, values of this clear would be activated and all the flip flops would be reset and once they are all reset it means my values uh, would be updated as all zeros. So, when the next clock pulse will come we will again start a sequence from 0 to 1, 1 to 2 and so on. So, this type of counter is basically called as a decade counter. Why it is called a decade counter? Because uh, it counts from 0 to 9 and the total number of states in this counter are 10. So, you can revise this topic and in case you are having some doubts, you can uh, raise uh, those doubts in the comment section. I would be happy to answer your doubts. Keep revising your notes and uh, God bless you all. Thank you.